Morning, Morning Petals. Petals. We're down here in Mandalay and it's different again. Very, very different. We overstayed a couple of days in Bagan. Um, so we've only got a couple of days here in Mandalay, but we've got one thing that we really, really want to do. It's the Ubeen Bridge. It's the longest bridge of its kind, probably. I uh, don't really know, but we're going to go down there and do it now. Let's do it. Go. thing out man it's freaking nuts it's so big it's meant to be like the biggest one in the world 1.2 guys long I really don't think Renee's gonna do it I really don't think she is I'm not gonna do it I bet you I'm gonna stay over here I'll just take the footage of you walking across the bridge <laughs> I knew this yeah, because I'm like oh do you want to have a beer and she's like yep yep, yep let's have a beer straight away yep cool <laughs> All right, let's do it I'll be honest I thought it was just a bridge like connecting two towns but there's actually heaps of restaurants and, and things and kids playing and stuff it's yep. kind of cool it is kind of cool. A lot more than what I expected. Yeah. Nice little tourist hotspot now that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's only ever been two fatalities on this thing. Two. Would you like some knickknacks? <laughs> <laughs> it's beginning. I know, but everything moves. <laughs> big softy and big softy. No, it's it. Definitely shake. Okay. A little bit further. I'm going on. Just if no one walks around with this shake. <laughs> Like I said, only 11 people have died on this. <laughs> Last time it was two. <laughs> I think it's fun. It's heaps better than when the power went out in Yangon and there was bandits or something like that. So far it's been free too, so that's that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Dying free to die. 1.2 kilometre old teak <laughs> building Dang. of like 1850s. Yeah. Okay, so it was it, it was built in 1850. Google said. Google said 1850, so it's 100 and something years old. It's going to be heaps worse here. The gaps are heaps bigger. Okay, I'm going back for Renee. Do you want me to meet you back here? Well, it gets heaps worse up there. The gaps become like huge. Okay, I'll meet you back here then. It'll be 10 minutes. Okay, I'll just stand right where I am. Let's take a seat. No, because then I might put like, different bits of weight on something. Peruse the gift shops. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I'm just going to stand here. Okay. I could probably just go back. I'll be honest, without sounding like a wanker, uh, it is super beautiful here, it really, it really is. Uh, a lot of the times we sometimes get what we call as scenery fatigue, so it's like you see some temples, you see some uh, pagodas and, and a beautiful picturesque spot, but you see that every single day and you're a little bit tired and you've been traveling and, and things like that and you get, you get a bit over it, scenery fatigue. But here is just unbelievable. Like, I, I, it, it really is. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Look at this. I've never seen shit like this before. Ducks. Yes, I never ever thought in my wildest days that I would be walking over the Ubeen Bridge, something that's 158 years old where 63 people have died on. Watching the sunset, watching people fish, it, it's just incredible. And uh, yeah, me and Ma, you've stolen my 
little believies. I believe in you. <laughs> How was your rest? <laughs> it's good. Okay, you good to walk back? Let's do it. You look badass on that bike. Fedora, get away. With you were asleep, you're in a new room. You put that new room, you're in a new room. Get out, I'm leaving. No, honestly guys, that was pretty sweet, man. Like even the whole the whole country has yeah. just kicked their ass a bit. Um, Definitely wasn't what we expected, but it's exceeded our expectations. And this has been an awesome afternoon just to kind of wrap up our time. Yeah, with I, I never thought I'd walk over the Ubeen Bridge. No, never. But there, there we go, just just did it. You did half of it. I did maybe one fifth of it, but that's still one fifth, so that still counts. Mm, it counts. It does count, it counts for one fifth of, because that's what you want. You want one fifth of a hundred dollars. No, you want a hundred dollars. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't think we're going to come back to to Burma to Myanmar because I just don't want it, this perfect image that I have of it to change. I know that sounds all deep and I sound like a wanker, but it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's changed us a bit, man. It's it's the, it was the first sort of untouched country that we've been to. I don't know if I want to do it again. I want to take away my little believies. Yeah, keep, we've keep had it in our little believies. Yeah. If that kind of makes sense, without mm. getting super whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've been bridge. Great way to finish it off. Mandalay, probably should have spent more time here, but we yeah. spent too much time in Bagan. Yeah, it's uh, been... Oh look, we might come back. I don't think we will. It's but been a it's, tough it's, one. It's out of, be out of love, because I don't want this beautiful little thing to change. Yeah. But on that, we're going to leave it there. Yeah, uh, back to Bangkok tomorrow. Bangkok, back let's home. do it. <laughs> going back home to Bangkok. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yes, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe and join our little traveling family. Remember, we've still got India next week. So. India next week. And if you haven't watched the first two parts of Myanmar, watch them. Yeah. They'll be up here or down here or here. <laughs> we love you. Thank you. Bye. Speak it